Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's popping? Um, J Hill. No, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, J Hill. Uh, conversation series. Um, we're in Atlanta. Wait, we live right now? Yeah, we live. Oh snap! I was lit. Oh, oh man. man, you uh, you need another shot, bro? And yeah, no, I'm good. I'm you good. sure? Yeah, I mean, what's the, what's come on, dog. Let's, all right, come on, finish this shit. You ain't finished, bro. Come on, come on. Let's stop. Let me finish this one. Yeah, this be a shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted a straight. Mm. Sheesh. What's good, dog? How you been? What's the word? You know the vibes. All right, man. So, um, yo, we, first of all, I just, I want to ask you. I want to start off asking you this. Yeah, we good. I feel like niggas in the, from New York, everything is a pause, bro. Give me the top. That's oh, hey, yo, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. All right, so uh, I want to ask you, bro. Um, you all, you got this thing you push. You've been pushing since you started. Stay, keep working. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay, stay working. Stay humble. Stay working. Yeah. Uh, what keeps you humble? What keeps you uh, level-headed and grounded? To be honest, um, being around good energy, mm. being around good people, like, you know what I'm saying, like you, like my brother Fresh, and like, you know, it's just like just being around family. You know me, so you know you know I like being around good energy. That's the only energy that I can be around. If I'm, if I'm around negative energy, then I, I can't. I'm not staying humble or working. So, okay. Know. But not, not also, matter of fact, take a drink, because I feel like, you, you, like, you, like you're giving me like radio Trav Q right now. I ain't really feeling that energy. For me, like, take a drink, bro. Like, radio, what's Radio Trav Q? I feel like you're giving me, like, yeah, so, you know, I'm just like, nah, I need you to turn up. I need you to give me Trav I mean, Q I mean, from. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm um, doing a show with you, so you got to be professional. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, please don't be professional. <laughs> <laughs> don't be professional. Give us some bullshit. But look, I, I asked you that because, um, but outside of the people around you, right, like, what, what keeps you grounded in the sense of, like, not getting too big at it. Cause like I feel like we seen you with all the celebrities. Mm -hmm. Shit, we seen you with Drake. Shit, I don't think it get no bigger than that. Pause. But we didn't send you with Drake. We didn't send you with fucking every celebrity you could think of. Busta Rhymes, like everybody, right? Your resume speak for itself. You lit. You can turn the fuck up if you want. You know what I'm saying? You could pop your shit, whatever. But I feel like every time I see you, you you stay the course, right? You right. stay to your 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 saying, your saying. Stay humble. What keeps you grounded outside of the people that you're around? To be honest with you, bro, I feel as like I always told myself I would never get big headed, mm. you know, because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people get big headed and they, they they lose themselves in a situation. Like you feel what I'm saying? So it, it's more so like once you keep yourself grounded in this, you never lose yourself. You never lose who you are. So I just never wanted to lose who I was at the end of the day. So that's why I keep myself level headed. Okay, and that's why I still stay humble and stay working to the end of the day. You know I, mean? I ask you that question because. Um, I don't know if it's because we're in a frat, but we're not in the same chapter. Mm -hmm. We ain't like the closest friends. We don't talk every day. You know what I'm right. saying? But every time I hit you, you always show love. It's right. always been that. Like, it's always been. Mine is the last time you ain't pop, you ain't show I was mad as shit. You try to blame me on me. I ain't like that. We're going to talk about that, though. Bro, Let's talk about that. Bro, I explained what happened. <laughs> I hated that. I, don't, you know I hate saying? that excuse. That's excuses. I, I explained. It wasn't, it wasn't an excuse. I'm here Yo, now, though. I'm yeah, here now. But, though. but, not, but that's what I'm saying. But even still, yeah. even still, through that, you explained it. You yeah. feel me? Like, a lot of niggas won't even do that. You feel me? So, like, right. I'm saying that with all respect. Like, you can say we could joke, but at the same time, it still was a sense of, like, resp call and response that you didn't have to do. And that's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like, we're right. not the best of friends. And, like, every time I hit you, bet. You know what I'm saying? From when you had, I think I knew you since you had 142,000 That's the first time we did an interview, right? I think so, bro. Yeah, and that was in Baltimore, too. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? That same interview, that was my first time meeting Tank. Yep, and you were I did the Tank like, interview, yep. like, yo, he didn't, he next up. <laughs> and I didn't really know him like yeah. that. One of the like, yo, he's next up, bro. Nah, but it's, it's my bad. I need to cut you off. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Nah, you good. I was done. So that was the first time we did the interview. But before that, bro, because I knew you before that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's just, because I think. We like, go way back. We go, did you like, come to like, see me? We, we, we go. What? Yes, you did. We, oh, we go way God. back. I don't know if we could talk about it on Yeah, we can talk. Talk his shit, We go way back, ladies and gentlemen, like. Fraternity for real. Mm. When it said Omega Sci Fi, the Omega Sci Fi fraternity incorporated. Root to the bros. Root to the bros. I'm beta, he's pa. You yeah, know, facts. It's a bloody triangle thing going on. No cap, right? no yeah. cap. So we go way back. Nah, you know it's facts. Yeah. So, like, but I feel like ever since I met you, and that's what I'm saying, like, ever since I met you, mm -hmm. you ain't, I know some bros that I can't even get in touch with these niggas, and I ain't mad because niggas is working. You feel me? Right. Like, I'm working, there's some people that can't get in touch with me. But you were the one, one of the ones that I could, like, your number's been the same. Right. 
I can DM you or answer, you know what I'm saying? And I really appreciate that. You was a few other people like Jess Hilarious, like I mean like that's like real tight friends and that's like not, I wouldn't say I'm gonna say friends. We can say friends, you feel me? But we like got, we gotta say friends. Yeah, yeah, facts. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I talk about everybody, because I, I do understand the business and associates, but I do appreciate the people that that stay like no, that. I've that's been, what I'm I've been, to. I've been watching your grind for years. You feel no, what I'm saying? saying? And this is something that you built over the years. A lot of people they start and they don't finish, and mm. you, you keep going. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? So apart from you know the frat and the friendship, like I, I appreciate your grind. No, I appreciate a lot that, of people dog. can't do what you do. You feel a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people. Do, a lot of people can't make that move and elevate like how you're elevating right now. Mm, appreciate you feel what I'm bro. saying? So, I respect your grind. But apart from that, like you're just a cool dude. No, nah, thank you. You feel dog. me? Like thank I remember you. when I came to Baltimore one time. He's like, "Trav, you need to stay in my crib." Like you know what I'm saying, Trav, remember that? Trav, yeah. you need my car? No, nah, facts. And then you looked at me like, "Take the key." Yeah, no, nah, so facts. It goes back to things like that. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Like okay. so, I will always have respect for you at the end of the day. So, anytime you call, I got you. So I look, I look at it. I look at it bigger than me, you feel me? Like, and granted, I've had, I didn't even remember that, but I've, that's why I am. You know what I'm saying? So I'm never counting what no, I, I did not, for a nigga. I'm telling you, I would never forget the day that you gave me the key to your car. Damn, I appreciate it. Yeah. No, no, I mean, yeah. it's crazy because, like, because that's why. you I, didn't have to do that. And there was yeah. a reason you had to do it, but you was like, I trust you. You feel me? Yeah, so, no, nah, facts. So yeah. I say that, but I say that to say, like, I'm never counting what I'm doing for a nigga. So when you, when you answer the calls for me, mm-hmm. I don't even look at it like, Man, I get it, to my nigga. The keys to my car, yeah, you man. Forgot I, about that. Yeah, I'm not yeah. looking at. It, I'm looking at it like, damn, this dude is really humble. Cause he could be like, nah, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, but you've never done that. And that's right. when. I, and going back to the question, like, how do you stay there when it's? Is it times that you where people ask you you don't want to work and he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna just do it. Like, or are you in a space where it's like, if you don't want to do something, you ain't doing it. To be honest, everybody shouldn't get your time or your energy. Mm. You feel me? Because a lot of people, when they get your time or your energy, they waste it. Facts. You understand? So it's just that the right people have to get your time or the people that you know is not going to waste your time or your energy. That's who needs your Can time. Can we take a sh- drink to that? Of course. Ooh, Cheers. That was some good shit, wasn't yes, it? That was some good shit. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's real talk because time is money, right? Yeah, right 100%. Or wrong. Like it's, it's like when people waste your time, you could have been making money during that time or you could have been perfecting your craft or doing something else. So when someone wastes your time, you don't appreciate that. Damn, you're right, you're right, you're right. I want to talk to you about um, so much shit, bro. Can you talk, you said something about, you was like, people see that you respect my grind. Mm-hmm. I respect your grind. A lot of people look at you and, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> people look at you and, and I, I, I can assume that I'm, I'm right with this. They look at you and they think it's easy. Oh, this nigga would be with Drake. He'd be with all the celebrities, but you work for that. Nah, for like, sure. This ain't this no is, overnight shit. You know, I've been doing this since Vine days, bro. Vine. Yeah. 2013. Well, yeah, we in now. We in 2022. 2022, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, seen, you seen the grind. You see the come up. This is since Vine. This is this is not happening overnight. A lot of people, they have success overnight, but guess what? It doesn't last mm-hmm. because it's like a microwave effect. You get hot and then you just you die quick. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? So I've always appreciated the gradual buildup. This is not something that was easy. Mm. I've networked. Outside of social media, I've networked. I went to events. I've met people. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? So it's the, fresh to tell you. Like that's what I want to talk to me about the grind, bro. Talk yeah. to me like about the, like the trials that you can't do. Is it do it get frustrating when I know you see people that that come to you and think it's just all pieces and cream? Talk mm-hmm. to me about that. Yeah, most definitely. At the end of the day, you know, um, like I said, people see they they see the glitz and the glory, they see the glam, but they don't see what what happens behind the scenes. They don't see like when I've struggled mm. or times that I've doubted myself or times that I felt like is this happening for me or the times that I dropped out of grad school mm. to pursue this. They don't see none of that. And I had to come back home and tell my mom's like, yo, I'm not in school anymore. And she's Damn. like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I want to do entertainment. And I'm getting cursed out now. Yeah, you like what, what entertainment? Like, like yeah, what? yeah, they don't because what, what do you they, they don't see none of that. But at the end of the day, I always had a plan. I always had a goal. And at the end of the day, I knew I would accomplish this goal. Put my let's, mind let's, to it. Let's go there. Right? Like. I, 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 like, it's, you gotta put your mind to you, Listen, listen Everyone has a goal mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Everyone wants to accomplish something Like, and you will have doubts But at the end of the day If you know you want to accomplish something Go out and get it Don't wait for nobody Don't listen to nobody Tell you you can't do it You just gotta do it Facts You feel what I'm saying? 100% Straight You say, up. you say, you say you got it You say, like you hear Like I hear like gotta, I hear the hunger you, you But gotta, I hear the like I hear the 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 happiness and the joy and the I accomplished something. Right. What is it that you accomplished? Like, where are you right now? Right if, now. If you have to say for your those career. that don't know, it's not only social media. You Talk feel what I'm me. saying? Like, yes, we got the numbers on Instagram. We got the numbers on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. We got all that. But I've done movies. Mm. I have a movie on BET called Swag Inc. And, and Prime Video where I've started. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So I took that leap and I've transitioned. 
Not to say that that's the only thing that I need to brag about, or like I'm not, I'm not bragging at that's all. That's not the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, but, but this it's, is it's just... more that I need to accomplish. I know I have to keep going if I want to accomplish more. There's a lot of people that inspire me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And because of that inspiration, I know that there's more that I have to accomplish. Facts, and that's so, but that's something that you wanted to do all the time. I'm assuming do, being a movie. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. Listen, when I got when I got, yo, when they hit me up and said we want you to audition for this for a role with BT, I was like, well, hold on, wait, me? Facts. Like, yeah, like you. yeah. I sent them my tape. They was like, you got it. Once I seen that email, I was like, oh, snap. My people's like, Travis, lit. You feel what I'm saying? Damn, that's crazy. Yo, so, question. I want to stay here, right? I'm, I'm going to get a little nosy. Like, what the girls say? It's some, no homo. I'm about to get some tea, I guess. Yo, <laughs> that's gay as shit. <laughs> hey, yo, pause, 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 pause. pause, pause. <laughs> All right, nah, so, what? <laughs> you going to hate this question, bro. How much do you think you're making right now? As far as, as as an entertainer, you don't have to tell me an exact number. Just give or take. How, you say how much do I think I'm making? Yeah, like well, like how much are you making? Give or take your each show or something like that, or each booking. I mean, everything like it varies, but I'm good. What's bro. your prices? If I want to book you for a party right now, how much you gonna charge me? Hit not fresh. me, not me. Hit fresh. He'll tell fresh. you. Fresh. How much you gonna charge me, bro? That's you your. Gotta, you gotta hit his email. Then he. Tell you. I got email. All right, that's professional. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What's the so? All right, fuck the the number. I'm trying to say. So my second question was gonna be like. When you started, right? When you were getting them, them them bookings and shit like that. When, what was some, when I first first started. When you first when started. I first first started. Listen, man, I was I was low, low balling myself, but I, you know, at the end of the day, it's like you you have to like because when you when you starting off, you don't really know too yeah. much. So and that's what I'm trying to go when, with. Yeah, when 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 you when you really get into it, you really know like. If I send you my rate sheet, bro, you're probably like, oh, Trav, word, yeah, because that's what it is now. Mm. In the beginning, like I didn't know too much, so I was like, all right, well, this is the number right here. Until I started building my brand up and I started meeting different people from different places. And they were like, nah, this is what you need to charge, bro. At what time did you learn that? At, at, like, do you remember that time when you was like, yo, damn, I'm, I'm fucking myself over? Like, This had to be, and to be honest, this had to be like 2017. Hmm. But it was like, this is what you need to start charging. You feel what I'm saying? And when 2019 came, it started coming in. But now we're in 2022. It's coming in. It's coming in. We did. Yo, can I hold a couple of dollars? Bro, you can say no, I'm with, with. Ah, I was like, I said, what you mean? <laughs> I don't do that because the camera's on. <laughs> no, no, I'm fuck with you. But no, nah, so, bro, when you first found out, right, how hard was it to, like, when you change your numbers, right, when you first start changing, you said 2017, mm -hmm. you first start changing your numbers, what was the what was the the uh, the reaction like? Was you getting it off books or was niggas like, man, I mean, I let me explain something to you. When, when. When you're like, okay, a quote-unquote social media influencer, mm -hmm. which I'm, I, I don't consider myself that because I'm an actor because I've done movies. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you're a social media influencer or you're creating content, you're always going to get lowballed because they feel as though that you don't know your worth. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, but once you know your worth and you stick to that, no one can tell you anything. Mm -hmm. So even if they say like, oh, that's too much. Oh, you, you, you know your worth. You feel what I'm saying? If somebody come to you right now and be like, Jay, how much you charge? You get in oh, your I'm price, gonna tell them. yeah, and they be like, "Oh, that's too much, or whatever." You be like, "All right, All right bet." Peace so. out. <laughs> but I asked that because it has been a time. It was a time in my career, and I didn't want to make it about me. But I know it was a time in my career when I first found out my worth, right? Mm -hmm. And I started charging, and it was kind of hard to let the customers go because customers went. I ain't gonna lie, customers left. They was like, "Okay, I can't afford it," and right. it was hard for me to be like, "Okay with that." Mm -hmm. Now, so I guess it would be like your 2017 to your 2019. Like in 2019, it might have been easier. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. But I want to talk about in the moment when it was like these people are like just saying. You bad. probably felt type of way like, damn, because that's probably money. That's I'm bread I can make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, if you if you stick to that, then that's what you're going to always accept. Mm -hmm. You got to like, all right, say peace out to those peoples for the level up. How was you able to do that? I just said peace out to them people. Okay. Straight like that. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? See, for me, I don't think... It, it, and it was, it's no disrespect to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. the case is. Oh, but it's also like, you, you should know your worth. And it's like, if this is my price, if the team said this is my price and this is what it is, and don't get me wrong, certain people budgets you got to work with, like mm. your mans or whatever the case is. You know, you, oh. you, you, you work with certain people budgets or whatever the case is, but at the end of the day, your price is your price. So I was about to go into this though, right? Because you said your mans, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like some people might not agree. I'm like certain people, certain people budgets you got to work with, like let's not say all your B, mans. Let's say BET. I might have to work with that. You know what I'm saying? I might have to work with that budget. You feel me? But I mean, I mean, some people like, nah, fuck it, they got it. You got to look at it like this: if it's something that can elevate, you know, your career, then why not? Mm. You feel me? But at the end of the day, just don't low boy yourself. Right. That's what. That's the message I'm trying to like. Not nah, fact. How do you feel about like opportunity? And and jazz, if you see something, you can fix it. It's fine. Um, if 
how do you feel about like opportunity versus the paycheck, right? Because sometimes people, like I hear some people say, man, don't try to book me for nothing, no opportunity. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I need my paper, right? But I feel like opportunities is real. It's all about the person, though, because mm. a lot of people really don't care about the opportunity. They care about the money. A lot of people don't care too much about the money. They care about the opportunity. So it's all about the individual at mm. the end of the day. Where you, th- where you at with it? Where I'm at with it is is like the right cause. You know, it's, yeah. if, if it's right for what we're doing, then it's right. And if it's not, fuck it. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Fuck it. Yo, talk to me about, um, you said you're on social media. Uh, can we go back for a second? I feel like because like, we did some shit. We did some we shit. Here, let's yeah, come yeah. on. Whatever let's, you want to do. Let's bro. take another drink. Come yeah, on. Bro. Let's see whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, yeah. I got my nigga open up a little bit. Pause. Hey, yo. That's that New York. I see this nigga face. Pause. This nigga said, oh my God. <laughs> no, it's all good, bro. It's, it's fine. All right. Anyway, yo, let's talk. Can we? Let's, let's go back. Let's go way back. Uh, a little bit after um, Vine, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. The what was it? Think it's, what was, like what was it? Bri- yeah, yeah. That was, that, okay, ladies and gentlemen, if I scared anyone, that's the first video I ever did. I went viral on Vine 2013. <laughs> I went inside of McDonald's and I screamed and I walked out like nothing happened, and that's what made me go viral. <laughs> and that's what started off my social Everybody media, like the fuck is my social on? media career. You know, <laughs> like right, but then. That shit was crazy. Yo. That Can night. We, let me tell you about that night. Let's talk about that shit. I was shit, with bro. one of my friends from like like one of my childhood friends. You know, he's like, we went we went to uh, my lounge. We were chilling, having a good time. <laughs> fuck me. And he said, Trav, I dare you to do this. And he said, you won't do it. This is one of my best friends. Like, you know, so I'm like. Did he say that word? What, what word? The brick. He said, I dare you. He said, I, I guarantee you won't walk inside of this McDonald's and, and do this or scream or whatever the case is. Okay. I said, you, you know you're talking to, right? And you know, we, we, we're a little bit lit. So I'm like. Yeah. Walked inside of McDonald's and I did it. I put it on Vine. I did not expect it to blow up like it did. It blew up. Like I, that's when Revine was out. So I put my phone in my pocket. I took my phone out of my pocket. It was so many notifications on Vine. I'm like, what's going on? Shit went crazy. It was that video right there. So at that moment, first of all, what did you like the word though? Like like me and my friend, we created that like in junior high school. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it was just What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. It's a, <laughs> we, created it. it's, we called it a tribal call. Like, you know, we, okay. we, we used to do it in class so the teacher could look up, but then we put our head down and he wouldn't know who did it. Okay. So, yeah. So, you did that shit. It went, it went crazy. Mm-hmm. And at that moment, like, you wasn't really doing... Was you doing videos at that moment? I mean, I had videos on YouTube. I had a YouTube since, like, 2007, but I wasn't... Oh, you was like, early in this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You was even, early. I really had my YouTube since 2007. So. Shit. I yeah. fucked up. <laughs> I had I had my Instagram since 2011. I just looked it up the day. So damn. Yeah. All right. So like, so you was doing funny videos. What type of videos were you doing? Yeah, funny videos because I've I've had videos when I was younger, just doing funny videos, recording myself. Like I had my, I got my first camera when I was 10 years old. So I already had like you know some type of expertise in like editing. Okay. And like you know just making my family laugh and like you know creating something. Okay. So you did that shit and that yeah. and and then was that from from that point was it like. All right, this is what I'm gonna continue to do. Or yes, this this is something that that I wanted to continue to do. But you know, I have Jamaican parents, so it was more so the mindset of when you go to school, yeah, like you need to excel in some type of form of like of health or you know engineering. Engineering, you know, you <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. So it was more so that's what they wanted me to do, and I always wanted to make my parents proud. Mm-hmm. But I always knew that I wanted to be into entertainment. Sheesh, damn. Twenty, what you said, thirteen? Yeah. Vine days. Talk to me about this. Do has it been anybody like in your circle or people that you heard be like he's not funny? In my circle, um, nah. In, in my circle, they would just give me constructive criticism. Like, okay, how does that look? Constructive criticism. Trav, you could have done this better. Or, nah, nah, I'm not feeling that right now. You know, and I and I and I appreciate that because okay. I don't like no yes men around me. Tell right. me what it is, because once you keep yes men around you. That's actually bad for you mm-hmm. and bad for you, like your craft as well, because you go out into the world thinking everything is okay. You need someone to tell you, no, that that wasn't okay. You need to do this, or right. maybe you should have done this better. You feel me? So does does that ever like get frustrating? Is it like one person in your circle that's always like, nah, 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 and and, and is that like frustrating at some? I mean, time? it's not frustrating at all because that's mm-hmm. what I want. That's what I need. Okay, it may be one, it may be it may be two people, it may be three. Like, hey, no, because. When I do a video, I may send it out to the team, like, what y'all think about this? And that, the feedback that they give me, I appreciate it because that's what I need to hear. That's what I need to see. Mm. You know, sometimes people, they just put things out. It's like a forced post mm-hmm. is what I call it. Like, all right, let me just post this book just because. 
And like when you post something, I, I live by quality over quantity. When I post something mm-hmm. on the internet, it's quality to me and it's quality to my team. Mm-hmm. So more than likely, it's gonna be quality to the viewers. And that's why, you know, I continue to go viral. Now, I see your quality uh, is going crazy right now as far as, like, the type of videos you're making. But, hold on, let's, let's just stay in a circle for a second. Mm-hmm. Remind me if I, if I forget. All right. When I, how do you choose when to listen? Because I know it could be somebody that say, nah, but it might hit right for you. And I think my question is really, like, you know, in those moments when it's like, yo, I got my mind set. Right, and if somebody might not like it, how do you di- how do you differentiate or determine when he is just not for him, but it might be for the masses? That's a good question, right there, bro. Because there's been plenty of situations where someone probably told me like, "Yeah, this ain't it," and I'm looking like, "Nah, this is this it. is it, nigga." But it's, it's just like a gut feeling for me. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Like it's just a gut feeling for me. Like if I feel like, "Nah, this is right," I'm gonna put it out. Because one time I think uh, one of my one. One of my line brothers, I said to some Jules at one time, and I was like, yo, what you think about this? He was like, nah, I don't like this. Like, this, that. I'm like, nah, like, you you bugging, bro. But it was a gut feeling. Mm. Like, I'm like, this is good. And when I put it out, it went crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So, Talk to me about the times when, like, I don't know. After, after that, what did you do after that? It wasn't, um, give me a like. That wasn't after the, the break at the, the tribal call. Yo, you know, um, it, it, it wasn't. That. It was not walk away from me. It was, that wasn't. Away. Was it might have been now walk away, but oh, you talking about the next big moment? Oh, yeah, yeah. About, so I screened Drake lyrics, I was running through six on my walls, and Rihanna reposted it. This, okay, I this, remember that. This was in 2015. I remember I that. I was like, yo, so I didn't know she reposted at the time. I just seen like because I was, I was working at the time, I had mm-hmm. a job at the time. So I seen my phone blowing up, but I'm not paying attention because I'm at work or whatever the case is, and I'm getting mad phone calls, and I'm like, yo, what's going on here? Mad phone calls, mad text messages. So I finally like was able to like get away and be like, yo, all right, so what happened? Yo, Rihanna reposted you. So y'all lying. <laughs> Go to her page right now. And the video is probably still there to this day. You feel me? Mm. So it was like <laughs> that's what took me to another level on Instagram. Yo, you all know? right. I, we gotta do this. Can we pour another drink real quick? Of course. Cause cause what I'm about to say next is about to be crazy. We gotta. We Just gotta. as long as we don't gotta say pause. No, nah, no, nah, we don't gotta say pause. We don't gotta say pause. I mean, we might have to say pause, but we'll... It's, 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 it's gonna be worth it, whatever. Right. I got you, dog. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Here, pull your, pull your own place, man. Ah. Cause, and we're gonna go back to. Yeah, I'm a, I, This nigga say he drank straight, so. Yeah. Less calories. Wow, bro. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. All right. Let's take a shot, and then we're gonna take another shot, cuz. Rihanna posted you. Yes. 2015. Yes. Let's fast forward six years. We're going to go back. Let's fast forward but I just want to fast forward okay. six years. Yeah. The biggest artist ever. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. How the fuck, bro? Ain't no way. How the hell was you able to get in a room with Drake, bro, and make a video, bro? I just want to know. So, um... People from his team. Can we take a drink to that? Shout out to Nori and Drink Chats and them because this is a most page out of their book. Shout out, shout out to DJ Spade. Shout out to my bro Cali. They invited me to um a, a, um a restaurant that he was at one time. I didn't even know he was gonna be there. You know, those are my bros, so they invited me. But they they work closely with the OVO team. And um while I'm there, I seen Drake. So I was like, Yo, listen, man, it's now or never. You just gotta get it done. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta take risk. Pause though. Yeah. Hold up before you go. But we can't act like this nigga wasn't already posting you, bro, or, or, or commenting under your fucking, bro. First time Drake commented under I your mean, post, how you felt? I mean, I, I felt great, but at the end of the day, I'm going to still prank you. Nah, facts. You what I'm saying? I'm going to still But I want to know how, it, when he first commented, like, you say you feel great. You can't just say it. It's Drake. No, no, no. It's Drake. I, it, it felt amazing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it like, like it was something regular. That's one of my favorite artists. You feel what I'm saying? Every album that Drake drops... I'm tuned in. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite artists. And it felt great. You feel what I'm saying? But the video felt like... Even better, of course. Nigga, if Drake comment under anybody pictures like... It it felt felt like, yo, I just got a video. Like, that's that's the modern day Michael Jackson. Talk to me about that. Talk to me about this video. So they they invite you. Yeah. You ain't know. Talk to me. Let's go. So they invite me. I don't know he gonna be there or whatever the case is. See him at the bar. I'm like, all right. I told my, I told my bro, I said, I'm about to do it. He's like, yo, you crazy. I said, I don't care. I'm doing it. You feel what I'm saying? We get it done now. Video over. Mind you, his security starts to approach me at the time. That's why I was like, I didn't get the fuck out of here. So I walk off. 
get the video done, whatever. And I walk back to him like, yo, bro, like, you know, my bad, you know, what I mean? you know, I do the video thing, like, yeah, you know, whatever the case, you take the picture, everything's straight. So, yo, so you can, can you restart him? Um, oh man, I want to ask you this, bro. Yes. So if you got the like, if you got a phone. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that they would know it's like a joke or like how, how do you do that with the five you like yo I want five bottles of et cetera et cetera put it on his tab do you see do you see me recording right now you see how Lotus this is yeah 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 exactly okay so niggas not paying attention they're not paying attention because I could be like this okay you really can't see shit all right that makes sense you feel what I'm saying because I'm thinking like do anybody think it's ever like do anybody ever think it's staged I got the phone like this bro Mm. Mm. You feel me? Yo, I just want to. Can we take another drink for you and Drake, bro? Of course. My nigga Trav Q. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to the whole OVO team at Dunno. Gucci, what's up? Shout out to Mark. Shout out to Spade. You know what's up? Yeah. Dang, bro. This nigga follow you. This nigga followed by Drake. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody I know Trav Q. He followed by Drake. Drake is. But anyway, um, let's talk about. uh. You've got. Like, I've seen, like, people get upset when you do videos mm-hmm. and shit. Like, how do you get out of these situations? Because what's a video? What's one video where, like, niggas was really about to, like, run down on you or some dumb shit? <clears throat> some crazy um, shit. I did a video with P&B Rock, right? Um, where his people, were, like, they were, they were upset. But if you look in the background, you see my profile woot. Okay. So I always got somebody with me. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Because in that P&B Rock video, you can, li- you can look Jake go back to it. You would see woot in the background like this. Looking and paying attention. Do they got the strap though? Cause you probably got like this. You been P and B rock. I'm pretty sure you got an entourage. You know how niggas move now. Like. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I got my peoples with me too. They just scattered. Okay, all right, all right. But what about the rap? like? So I'm not really talking about necessarily P&B, like celebrities. Mm-hmm. What about like like? Bro, I just seen you do videos with random niggas on the street, and niggas is really trying yeah, like. I tell you, he cause he he's recording on, like half the time. You feel what I'm saying? So. It's more so like I got to get it done. Like this is something that my supporters look forward to. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I can't have no fear going mm. into the videos that I make. This is what I do. This is Trav Q. So how do you feel? I seen um, some niggas go to like L.A., right? I think mm. uh, for me, sometimes I think it's stage because like he did. He was doing like a like a, a album review or something like that as a comedian. And he was telling a, the rapper that his music was trash, right? He's supposed to be doing an interview. Mm. And the rapper is mad. Like they about right. to jump this nigga. Like, is it any time where you got to, like, draw the line or, like, what, what's too far for you? There's not, no such thing as too far. Because at the end of the day, if you draw a line for yourself, like, you're not staying true to your content. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Straight like that. So, but you don't never be worried? Like, bro, I know we niggas, but God, come on. You bro, you go in the hood, niggas, 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 niggas got the strap. Like, how do you get out of that? You can't be worried. You can't be worried because you know what you're signing yourself up for. We're going to pray for Trav Q, y'all. Because <laughs> you see, I don't think people understand the lengths that comedians go to entertain us. They don't. You got to understand, we're living in like a, um, in a cancel culture world right now. So mm. it's more so like stand up comedians can't even go on the stage and say what they want to say. Facts. You feel me? So why would I live in fair? Like, okay, I, can, I, sh- I probably shouldn't be doing this. People appreciate that. Mm. There are a lot of people in the world who appreciate that because that's something that they may want to do. But they can't build up the courage to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to do it. Have you ever got canceled yet? No, I haven't done anything to get canceled. And I, and I hope I'm, I don't do anything to get canceled. Dude, is that something that crossed your mind? Um, yeah, it should cross anybody who's in entertainment film mind. You know, this cancel culture will come for you somehow, some way. They'll find something. But, you know, I don't put myself in any situation where someone can say, I got to cancel. Respectfully, I don't agree with you. I'm going to tell you why. Why not? I feel like when somebody... When you get canceled, you get reborn, to be honest. Like, so? anytime somebody get canceled, everybody is posting. Like, so for example, I'm not saying these niggas' names because I'm jealous. Fuck these it's niggas. It's what you do when you get canceled, quote unquote. I don't know. I'm going to tell you why. It's this podcast, right? They talking about black women. You know what I'm saying? They, t- they put out, uh, they put uh, Asian Doll, I think her name is that her name? Asian Doll. She, they put her out, and they supposed to be canceled. Mm. But you know what's going on? Everybody is reposting them saying how they're upset. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous because, first of all, I ain't saying no shit like that to get lit, one. And two, if you say some shit like that, I feel like you should be canceled. But the fact that people are so-called canceling them, they're rebirthing them. They're, they're reposting them. They're telling everybody how they hate them. Why, so you, why are you saying you're jealous, though? I'm je- because they're gaining more traction from it. I'm not about to do that to get more traction. You get what I'm saying? But 
Never, Everybody saying they cancel, but they're getting more. You can't like you can't ne- never be jealous of what somebody else is doing. No, nah, no, nah, listen, I'm that guy. Right. Let's not get it fucked up. Right. But I'm also man enough to be able to to to, to acknowledge a, a mm. feeling. I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck them niggas. I'm just saying I don't like it. Right. And I ain't going. I'm not going to give them a name. But back to what I'm saying. I think I only reason I say I, I disagree is because when, in my opinion, mm-hmm. somebody like yourself, you are self made. Right, mm-hmm. somebody like um, Dave Chappelle. We've seen that, like he stood the test of the time. That man, that man, he's uncancelable. Is that's yeah, not a word? Can, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And, I, and, and and even respect. I don't want to give these guys respect, but it is what it is. They built a platform, and I feel like they can't get canceled because it's their platform. Right now, when you're like the baby, and you have you have to depend on bigger companies to get shows. Right, they got to book you for a show. Maybe you can get canceled because you can't be on my show when you're independent. I don't think you can get canceled because right. if any, if you do any hypothetically, you do the worst thing in the world, right? Everybody's gonna be like, "This guy is an idiot." This guy from New York City, Trav Q, he's a fucking idiot. Guess what? Everybody gonna do? They are gonna come to your page, and guess what's gonna happen? This is the, it's, this is this is the world. It's fucked up. What's gonna happen is it's gonna be a thousand people who agree with you that didn't have a voice. Mm-hmm. So it's a thousand people that, that agree with this podcast, right? That don't have a voice. They see it. And now it justifies, now it gives them a bad view. Now it's like, oh shit, somebody feel how I feel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't think that you really can get canceled if you're self-made. Let me re-say that. I don't think you can get canceled if you're self-made like yourself because all it does is just give you more attention. That's just my opinion. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's that, just... that, no, that makes a lot of sense, bro. Because there are a lot of people out there like that feel the way someone else feel, that, that they don't, don't have a voice, it. they don't have a platform. But it's like, whoa, I feel how he feel. I, I get it. And I then you it. get a cult following now. You yeah. Let's look at Kevin Samuel. Two, four, four, four or five years ago, no man is coming outside saying, you don't deserve that. You right, know what I'm saying? Like, right. hey, man, you better shut the fuck up, happy wife, happy life, and <laughs> keep it quiet. Kevin <laughs> Samuel, come out now. You got mad men talking about this, this, this high quality man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm just saying, like, I'm just like, <laughs> shout out to Kevin Samuel, but I'm just saying, like, niggas be. Whatever. Right. It just takes one. That's I, that's just my opinion when it comes to cancel culture, but I'm passionate about that. So cancel culture can help in the long run. Okay. I think so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um try FQ. It's so much to talk about, bro. Um, give me a like. Let's talk about that for a second. Mm-hmm. What did that like what the fuck was you thinking? Like, how did you come up with that? Can we get some more drink? Come on, bro. Can we get Let's do it? It's like right a, yeah, give my my guy some more drink. You good? You you ain't tapping out, are you? Nah, not at all. All right, all right, pull up, nigga. Gucci. Tell me about give me a like. So now, what oh should we go to now walk away from me first? It's so much shit to talk I mean, about. Yeah, the now walk away from me was before the give me a That's light. what was fire. Yeah, so the now walk away from me literally. <laughs> it was fire. I would just be on campus, bro, and like I would be like at an event and I would tell a girl she's beautiful. You are one of the most beautiful girls I've met in my life. Oh, oh, thank you. Me. And then what happened just like that? You should have got disrespectful. Like, man, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so it, I don't want to get too disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but fact, fact, fact. I would say like now walk away from me because it's more so like I just want to give you a compliment. And that's it. Like that's it. Let's walk away from me. You feel what I'm saying? So what happened was I started catching like a lot of you know female entertainers. No, first I started off with like you know people who I would just see on the street and then walk away from them. Then I started catching like the female entertainers. You know like the Issa Rae's. You know um, Amber Rose. You got uh, Remy Ma, Sanaa Lathan, Remy Ma, Cardi B. You know just I would catch all of them. And just say walk away from me. You know, but it, it was more so not disrespect, but I'm like, y'all beautiful. All right. That's all I want to say. You feel me? So then the likes came from that because what happened was I wanted to use the likes because that's what everyone uses on Facebook, they mm. use on Instagram, they use on TikTok. Is you see a like. You see a like everywhere. So I'm like, let me give someone a like in real life. That was hard. You feel me? That so was, was fire, like, yeah. bro. So it was like, I started saying, now walk away from me. I like that. That was fire, bro. I like that. Can we talk about real life for a second? <laughs> Um, the complimenting thing, right? Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it, it in times where like women or females they can't just take a compliment? They it gotta be like something extra because sometimes I do feel like you you gotta watch how nice you are to to a woman because they 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 take it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I like you. He threw a pass at me, et cetera, et cetera. Do you feel like that or? I mean, at the end of the day, you don't know every woman. You right. don't know their mindset, so I'm going to still give a compliment regardless. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'm giving this compliment and I'm walking off at Has it been times where, like, you were just wanted to be a gentleman and girls took it as something else? What do you, what's your definition of something else? Let's say, let's, let's say, like, I'm trying to paint a real picture. Let's say in, in a professional environment, right? You might have a lady that looked nice or whatever the case may be, and you give her a compliment 
and now she think it's I don't, I don't want to go far as sexual harassment or sexual assault, but she go far as yeah, he liked me. He tried to talk to me. I feel like you heard that before. Like girls are like, he tried to talk. I didn't try to talk to you, girl. I fucking sent you a fire emoji in a fucking story. Every now wo- I try to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, every woman is different. So I've had I've had experience where, I, where you know I told a woman she's beautiful and she went to her friends and he tried to talk to me. And I did not try to talk to her. <laughs> like, no, I didn't. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I it, but it just you know some some women like they like they like it and some women they don't like it. Mm. You feel me? Or they, so they you don't take it personal, I guess. Like nah, not at all. You feel me? Like I gave that compliment because I wanted to get that compliment. Mm. Shit like that, so. Yo, how is love life with you, bro? I'm, I'm your brother, but I'm just asking. How, how, how is how is how is how is love life with me? Yeah, like, yeah, Pulse. like I guess. I mean, Pulse like, again. how Pulse was your again. love life? I guess, like you're right. I mean, we drunk, bro. Fuck it, I'm, drunk, bro. <laughs> I'm drinking now. Fuck it, yeah. Casa my amigos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Casa I mean, at with the end my amigos. If it's the right woman, she gets everything she wants. So you don't have no like girlfriend in there? Nah, I'm single. Okay. <sighs> All right, fuck it. We gonna drink to that. <laughs> single. Ladies, you heard it. But nah, I only was not asked that because like I was gonna talk about a mistletoe thing. Okay. Have you like got like any like real kisses from that? Like have anybody have I mean any... I wouldn't let them kiss me on my lips. Nah, they gotta kiss me on my cheek. But yeah, I've I've, I've got kisses from the mistletoe. Any girl try to get your number from that? Like, cause that's some slick shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, nah, I got I, I got mean, a girlfriend. I mean, I mean I've had one person try to kiss you on my lips. I'm like, hold on, wait. That's some slick shit though. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, like yeah. that's a way to see if a girl likes you or that's, not. That's thinking outside the box, bro. And this is something that we've been doing for years. That's we've fire. always thought outside the box. Years. Mm. You've been thinking outside the box. You're here now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not in Baltimore anymore. Mm-hmm. You're here. You thought outside the box. Like, okay, well, I'm not in Baltimore. I don't want to be in Baltimore. Well, not no disrespect to Baltimore, but it's like I have to be here now to expand what I want to expand. You feel me? Yeah. It's always about thinking outside the box. That's some slick shit. What, 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 what was that exact words you say? I felt like what it. It's beginning to feel like Christmas. Oh my god! That's so. Can I we drink to that? Like this right here. Yo. Like, it's beginning to feel like. Yo, Christmas. Can, what, what made you think of that shit, bro? Bro, I, I think outside the. Can box. Can we drink to that, bro? Of course. Yo. If you a man, you can learn something from this guy because that's probably one of the top five pickup lines. We forget ever. about things. Listen, let me explain something. Back in the days, bro, right? We did think we, we watched a lot of television. Yeah. So a mistletoe is something that was very like relevant and and that's growing up. You feel Facts. what I'm saying? Facts. You don't even think about a mistletoe no more. Yeah. But that's something that we've seen on television. We've seen it in magazines. Like, we had to just bring back what we used to see, bro. And that's what I'm doing. Like, a mistletoe. Like, who, how, who thinks of a mistletoe, bro? I didn't, they, they bro. I, they, just, they don't even talk about mistletoes on social media, bro. Bro, the nigga said. You feel what I'm saying? Like so Christmas. it's like, it's Yo, like real talk. Real talk. We, they don't even, it's certain things that we don't talk about on social media that we grew up on. We got to continue to bring it back. Bro, that's some crazy shit, though. Real talk. I'm just saying. That's some, bro. It's starting to feel a lot like Christmas. Yeah, bro. Real talk. Like, you can't tell me that's not lit. That's lit. You feel what I'm it's, saying? It's, I, it's dangerous, it is, though. It is. Because the right one. I, nev- I never know the reaction I'm going to get. Because a girl, you get a. <laughs> you get the right one. You feel me? You get the right one. She's like, the fuck you, crazy nigga. Right. Then you had a situation where uh, you was talking to a girl and um she called her boyfriend or something. Like she was on the phone with her boyfriend or something. Which one was that? Uh, I think he was like in an alley. Or like he was in. I don't know if it was the alley. It was dark, but it was a girl. I think she's about to call her boyfriend or something. Fresh was actually recording that. Yo. <laughs> Yo I put myself the... in some situations. I ain't going to front. But it's for the, you know, they love to see it, so why not? Did her boyfriend come? No, her boyfriend. We got up out of it. You know? We began getting about it before that. So. What's, the wildest, what's the wildest experience you had with, like, pranking somebody? Um, I think one time I was in Jersey. This girl wanted to fight me because um, I, I said, now walk away from me. This was, like, 2016, though. I said, you're beautiful, and I walk away. But she took offense to it, bro. She grabbed my shirt, and she was like, what, what? you know, I'm like, no, like, no. I went crazy. It was at one of the bros cookout in Jersey. Jeez. She grabbed up my shirt and all that. Like, I, you disrespect I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just telling you you're beautiful, and I walk away from you. That's it. But she didn't like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's, uh. you, had a, you ever had a crazy time with a celebrity? Like, like, because I think I seen you do some shit with Remy Ma. She was mad. With who? Remy Ma? Yeah, I think. I did two, two videos with Remy Ma. I told her she was uh, not walk away from you. Then the second time, she already knew what it was. The she first was, time, did she t- she turned up. The first time, what, what she says like the first time she knew what like she Remy saw Ma, it. Remy Ma pays attention to the yeah enemy. yeah yeah yeah. You can't like just catch her off guard. That's one person that's paying attention. Did anybody like so take when it? I did it, she was like fuck out of here. I know what you about to say. Yeah yeah. And the second time <laughs> now I tried you to, walk away from yeah, you. Yeah. So the second time I tried to catch her, she was like nah, this ain't happening. She put. A, like, <laughs> was it any celebrity that like? That took something personal because I, I know you do the rap shit. Mm-hmm. Like you be like, yo, I got some bars. Like, did anybody like really like get tight off of that Dave shit? Davies, but that's my boy now. 
What happened the first time he did that? <laughs> I spit his bars. I was like, beg your pardon, I ain't not the guard. I'm a Harlem nigga. I'm in Dayton. He was like, bro, that's, that's my shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's my shit. You know what I mean? But it's all love at the end of the day. Once I explain it after, it's like, okay, cool. We get it. Damn. Yeah. So it, it was never like some shit that happened. It's like, man, I can't post that shit. Um, I wouldn't say. I, I've done some things with artists that I've, that, that, that I've, like, yeah, I haven't posted yet. You know what I'm mm. saying? I'll show you one after this interview. You feel what I'm saying? An uh, artist from D.C. And that's that's my guy now. So, so, nigga yeah. turned up with some shit? Yeah, yeah. What, he, happened? He, he, he what happened? Don't say his name. What happened? Yeah, he was just like, nah, you ain't posting that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like. It's, well, what he was about to, he, he put out a blicky? Like, nah, 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 nah. nah why nah. Why you can't post it? Nah, nah, nah. We, we gonna talk about it now. Ah, you can't tell. You can tell me. Don't, tell, don't say the artist. Just tell me what happened. Don't say that, bro. You got, you got to give me something, bro. You drink, we, we have fun. Like, come on, man. We, nah, I don't. I thought, I, you see how you get your shit popping? That's how I get my shit popping. My don't say that. around me. <laughs> I look like I'm the man. But I, I ain't say tell me. I said what happened. I just told you. <laughs> I said what happened though. What ha- I, you told me? Who? I said what happened. I'll tell you after. Ah! <laughs> Trav, you everybody. You know Yo. The I just want to say I appreciate you pulling up, bro. It's always love. Um, I mean, I guess if you want to tell niggas what to follow you, like <laughs> you know, all my know. social media is the same. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm feeling this camera right now. It just looks 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 nice. And... Trav Q T R A V Q U E. That's um Facebook, Instagram, um TikTok, uh YouTube, literally Twitter. Well, I'm about to get my Twitter back. So all that is the same. All my social media is the same. Trav Q T R A V Q U E. My website www.travq.com. Swag Inc on B T. And Prime Video, check that out right now. Check it out, man. Yes, Trav sir. Q, he, bu- he about to hit a million soon. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get yes. a million? Yes. When, when I hit a million, I'm going to hit Jay Hill like it was, bro, I just hit a million. What we doing? Let's lock in. Y'all, y'all heard it first right here. Yes, sir. Jay Hill, Trav Q. I'm, d- I'm dead ass. If I, haven't, when I'm, when I hit a million followers on TikTok, but when I hit a million on Instagram, Jay, what we doing? Appreciate it. I'm going to lock up. in. I'm going to get the big boy cameras out. We're going to make right back. a movie. Coming right back. Gonna be, nah, we're going to. I, we fuck around go to New York, fuck around do a documentary, nigga. Let's fuck get you, it. Let's we get it. This shit and we really gonna talk about like, how you, what was this journey like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we gonna talk so, about money around yeah, me. I feel I'm like I'm like mad. We gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah. We gonna talk about that. <laughs> Yo, Trav Q, J Hill is a rap. People, I appreciate you. Stay humble, stay working. Yes, sir.